Hey, have you ever had a vision for your life and as you continue to get older and older, you realize you weren't living that vision and then something traumatic might happen in your life and then you come to the realization that you need to live life and you need to live it to the fullest and do everything and anything you want to do because you only get one chance in this lifetime. Well, this is what happened to me and this is my why as far as why I decided to get into my short-term rental business and I specifically choose to do corporate housing and temporary housing. So if you don't know me, my name is Kelly and I am known on social media by Miss Kelly Michelle on all of my handles and this is what I do. I got into this business in 2018 after my husband passed away. He passed away very, very suddenly and I was totally in shock trying to figure out what I was going to do next. So after a while, I started thinking about our conversations and how we wanted to have a property in another country and rent it out as a vacation rental when we were not there. So I decided to go ahead and get into learning about the vacation rental business. I found an online course that showed how to create a Airbnb business and I started taking that. While I was taking that, there was a guest speaker who was telling us about luxury vacation rentals and I found out that he was in the same city that I was living in. So I started following him and then I became a student of his and he taught me how to have luxury vacation rentals in Scottsdale, Arizona. Well, I did that. I was very, very successful, but I decided to move home because I wanted to be closer to friends and family. I did not have anyone of my close family in Arizona. So I came back home to St. Louis, Missouri temporarily just to be closer to people I really, really love and who love me back. <laughs> so while I, when I came back here, I was trying to figure out what am I going to do because St. Louis is not necessarily the biggest tourist destination. So what am I going to do? And I want to still stay in the short term rental industry. Well, I decided to get into corporate housing and temporary housing. So right now, this is what I do. All of my properties are for corporate housing and temporary housing. And I mostly have medical professionals that stay in my properties. So I cater to traveling professionals that come into town to work on contract for a certain amount of time. The average amount of time is going to be three months, but they can stay anywhere from 30 days to six or to six months. So that's what I love. I actually found the right balance within the short term rental industry that fits for my lifestyle. So just to give you a little bit of other information about me, my vision for my life was to always be able to be available for my children, be available for my family, still run my businesses, make the money I want to make, and have the freedom and flexibility to travel and do the things I love to do. With this business, I have been able to do all of that. And I can definitely say I am living in my vision and I am continuing to grow my business in different aspects. So, if you are interested in following me on this journey, I am going to be showing you what I do in my short term rental business, how I look for properties, how I set them up. I'm going to show you everything that I go through within my business. You're going to see it. I'm also have a goal of getting into or getting back into fix and flips. So as I get into that, you're going to see that as well. So anything I am doing related to real estate investing, short-term rentals, long-term rentals, fix and flips, you're going to see it. So make sure you subscribe and like this video so that you can see future posts from me and future videos from me. Now, if you are a person who's interested in getting into the short-term rental industry, but you don't necessarily want to do vacation rentals, I am going to definitely be giving some good information about um, how you can get into other types of short-term rentals. They pretty much follow the same blueprint, but there are some differences that you would need to know about. So whether you want to get into student housing, corporate housing, temporary housing, transitional housing, there are a lot of different things you can get into within short-term rentals. I will be talking about that. So I am going to link my calendar in the description so that if you want to talk to me about whatever you are interested in or whatever you might need assistance with, you can make an appointment with me to schedule some time. 
Also, throughout my videos, I will be dropping some freebies for you guys to download, so make sure you pay attention to that as well, and I will be announcing it. But until then, I will talk to you later.